This is a Kenwood KA9100, and the owner brought it to me because they'd like it to last another 20 years. It was introduced in 1977 and puts out 90 watts per channel. It's a dual mono design with a power supply for each channel, and it's built like a tank. First up, that sure modernizes the back panel. This sine wave is not equal on both channels, and it's kind of crackling on the blue channel, which is the right channel. It could be a dirty protection relay. So the way that we test that is to... Look at that! Panels cutting in and out. So that's a dirty relay. I'm gonna replace that next as we rebuild the power supply. All right, so I just replaced these capacitors, a regulator, and a few diodes and removed all the corrosive glue that hangs out on this power supply. Last to replace is the relay. While the power supply is out of the way, I also wanna clean this pre-main coupling switch on the back that couples the preamp to the main amp. It tends to cause channel cutout. It just gets dirty from sitting in the same position for so long. So all I had to do was clean the contacts and apply a little bit of deoxit, put it back together, good to go. I also gave the speaker switch the same treatment. A Little bit of contact cleaner, couple twists. A Little bit of air, dry it off. A Little bit of deoxit, couple twists, good to go. Oh yeah, and a bit of white lithium grease on the detents to make them nice and smooth. All right, I've got it on, dim bulb tested, works great. But look at how clean this sine wave is. The channel balance is perfect. Next up, I'm gonna rebuild the two amplifier boards. That is a beefy heatsink. I finished rebuilding both amplifier cards and they're reinstalled and workings. And I replaced 20 parts in total. Next up is the preamp, and boy is it a pain. You have to take apart the whole front end of the amp just to get these two circuit boards out. I started by removing all of these switches for deep cleaning. So that's before, this is after. These are metal contacts, so we can throw D100L on here, just a little bit. And after cleaning all of those controls, I replaced these 26 capacitors. Next up is this input board, gonna clean that switch and replace 11 of the capacitors. Power it on for the first time, hopefully. We got the relay click. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. It passes sound, balance control works. I'm very happy about that. If there was a problem, it's gonna cost you like two hours of assembly and disassembly. I cleaned up the faceplate with a magic eraser, microfiber, and some others mag and aluminum polish, then gave the knobs the same treatment, which left only one cosmetic touch up to do fix the damage on the wood case. The vent parts on the top had been broken and re-glued previously, so I just filled in some gaps with dark putty and stained it to match the rest of the case. Got the faceplate and knobs back on and there's only one thing left to do now. It's under here. And it's these two diode boards. The main reason for pulling them is to replace the 2SC1212 transistor on this board and a few caps. The other board just has four rectifier diodes on it. All in, I replaced 93 parts in this unit and it runs great produces about 120 watts per channel at one kilohertz and eight ohms. Ooh, what a beautiful piece. 